Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 48 of Gran Turismo 7, where uh, I have a vague idea of what I'm doing here, but I have to explain a few things first. Uh, so, uh, I've been doing the weekly challenges, but only on stuff that I've done before. And there's a cheap car in here, so I'm going to purchase it. Eventually, I'll get to the point where I'm only I can only buy expensive cars, but. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll buy a few things real quick, because why not? Uh, I would not like to get in this now. Um, but, yes, I've been doing the weekly race challenges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the ones I've already done in the past, because they just kind of redo or reuse races from the normal career mode. And, well, just everything. And also maybe add a new one. So right now, we have a Tesla Model 3 one make, which I'm not going to do, because I don't care enough to do that. Um, but I did these two because they had already been done. So that's my explanation for that. And I've gotten more credits and uh, a few cars and stuff because of that. But uh, in this episode, I've been using different cars too because I want to. Um, actually, before we go out, I do want to see what's in the legendary car dealership. If there's anything in here that intrigues me enough and that I can actually afford. Um, I, I kind of actually do want this Mercedes. But I don't know if I want it for 700,000 credits. At least not at the moment. So we'll leave that. But uh, what we're going to do in this episode is another, uh, another menu book. Because there's still a few in here that I have not done yet. Um, and you may be curious of which one. It's the one that requires the cheapest cars, the Sylvia Sisters one. So, yeah, we get a six star roulette ticket for parts. Um, but I believe this is like the Sylvia Sisters event in other Gran Turismo games. I guess we'll see, but let's learn some more. For this new menu, I'd like you to hand, try your hand at the Sylvia Sisters. The stars of this intergenerational Nissan Sylvia event include the 180SX, Known for sharing a chassis and an engine with the famed S13. It is an S13, though. That, that, <laughs> I don't know. The Silady, a 180SX with a modified front end. And is that it? Or is it Sylvia's plus those, maybe? I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, but finish in the top three and you'll earn a reward. All the best. Alrighty. So we have Willow Springs, Deep Forest, and Sukuba. What is the hints on this? Recommended car is a car I've already used. So we will be using something else, I guess. But welcome to the new year. Welcome to a new year of Gran Turismo 7 stuff. Because this game, of course, is still getting updates and content. So that is simply why the game will ever forever go until they stop giving it content, I guess. Uh, but it's still getting content. So, uh, yeah, we can head out here and check out uh, a little bit of information about the races that we will be doing real quick. We do have one of each area. Uh, I don't actually you know what I could probably just go up to the event directory now and go down here. And yeah, it's right there. So we do have four races that actually are included in this. I believe it's only three that it wants me to do, but I'll do all four because, you know, that's just what I do. Um, but we'll go ahead and have a look at one of these. So our suggested PP is 500. And of course, it's a bunch of Sylvia spec R's. Uh, is there an S14? I believe there is an S14. Do I have the S14? I don't remember what I have. I guess we'll find out real quick. Main menu. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that took a while, but it sure did. Uh, let us see what we have in the garage real quick. I guess I can also go through the, this real quick. Screw it. I got a Bugatti because I signed in. That was the six star car roulette ticket that I got, I guess. I got a Golf 1, Golf Gen 1. Very nice. I got an S2000. Also a car that I'd be interested in using at some point. I just bought the Super B, of course. Because it was cheap, and that's literally the reason why. Firebird Trans Am. 
And that is it. I have collected 166 out of 488 cars. Damn. Uh, so, let us uh, sort by... I guess the manufacturer will work. We'll go down until I see Nissan. There it is. Uh, so I do have an S14. I have the 180SX that I'm currently in, and I drove for one singular event. Uh, there is an S14. We have, I do have the SIL-80, even. And then I have the Sylvia Qs, which I actually used at the very beginning of the Let's Play, I think. Yeah, because it wouldn't have a turbo, and I definitely put a turbo on it. Uh, and then I have the Spec R Sylvia that I used uh, also early on in the Let's Play. Oh, I do have the earlier S S14 as well. Hmm. I definitely want to use an S14. Um, should I use the older one or the newer one? I'm going to use the older one. I have decided. I have decisioned. Okay, we'll do a few upgrades to this thing and look at what it has under GT Auto here. I haven't actually been to GT Auto in a long time, it seems. But of course, I'll do the normal... I wonder if my internet's going slow or something. I wonder if that's why it's taking forever to load. Not sure. NVMe SSD, by the way. Hey, it's got a sunroof. I would drive the shit out of an S14, honestly. If I had one, I would drive it a lot. But I don't, so. Uh, what do we get from adding the wide body? We get a wider body. Uh, I don't think I really need this, because... I don't need to make the car super fast. Of course, I want to look at the cus customization, though, because of course I do. What do we got? Ooh, we got a bit of a... Ooh, there's a whole different front... I'm buying it. New front bumper. You better believe I'm going to put a whole bunch of uh, body parts on this. Oh. You know what? That actually helps. That's fine. And then a wing, I can take it off. Which also takes off the rear windshield wiper for some reason. It's interesting. You know what, let's get to type A. Hell yeah, this thing looks actually kind of sick. Um, racing items. Pins, of course, we got the tow hooks. We got the roll cage. This car actually has quite a bit. Of course, I gotta change the light bulbs. Um, let's do... Let's do yellow ones. Because it is a 90s car. Get the offset. Ooh, grills. That's something I don't actually get to change very often, is the front grills. Hell yeah. I kind of want to make it a more interesting color, too. Real car paint. Oh, is this like... I guess this is all the colors that the cars in the game come with? Hmm. Why is it all red? Is it supposed to be all red? So if you have a color that you really want off of a car that's in the game, you can just have it, I guess. Huh. Chip Ganassi Racing. Um, I don't... Maybe it's just because red is first. I don't know. Ooh. I might do this, actually. You know what? Let's do it. I'm buying it. And then I have to apply it somehow. How do I apply it? Nope. Um, I don't... I think I actually have to go to... Livery Editor? Create a design. And then I can go to paint, body, paint all. Um, do I have to add it to the favorites? Menu. Special colors. Ah, there we go. There we go. Haha, -ha, there we go. Yep, looks good to me, chief. We will close. I didn't want to actually do that, I guess. S14. I don't care that much about a name. It's just red. 
It's not like it did anything crazy. Uh, but there we go. We have a red a GTR Nismo red. Yeah. I just got a notification on my phone that really distracted me. Anyways, I'm going to leave the wheel stock because why not? I like the music. I always love the music that plays in this game, though. All right, time to finally go to the real thing, the tuning shop, where I'm actually going to apply some upgrades. I don't know what, specifically. Should I get a racing muffler? Hell yeah, I should. I do have quite a bit of money. Um, I could just go for a crazy turbocharger. Um, funny enough, that actually doesn't even get up to 500. Um, do I have sports tires? Ah, there we go. We'll do sports softs, I guess. And that should be good. I'm probably overpowered, but you know what? I don't care. Let's do this. And I will just go up to the event directory because I actually want to do the race that's not involved in the, uh, in these three. I'm going to do this race first because then I can just finish the other ones and then get the prize. And I don't have to go back and do anything else. Uh, also, yeah, there's a the special event. The Tesla one make. All right, let's do this. Get 45k for winning. Works for me, chief. All right, what do you have to say? Jonathan Wong from Hong Kong. That... Why does this sound like copyrighted music? Because I probably turned it on when I was... Did I turn it on? I don't know. It's not that the original... What the hell for the R35 dungeon? Well, the added power, you can be sure I'll be zooming down the straights. Huh? This sounds very copyrighted, but don't I have... Yeah, I have broadcast mode on, so it should be fine. We'll see, I guess. If I get a copyright claim, blame Gran Turismo. Why are my brights on? Turn those off. I don't need no brights. Alright, um, so far, uh, I don't know if the, uh, the 500 performance points thing is actually completely true. I guess maybe they have more power than me, but I better have better handling so far. That's what I'm, oh god, seeing. I definitely have a massive speed disadvantage, which is not good for Tokyo. Oh god. I went too fast into the turn. Oh, there's a pit. Neat. Well, maybe... Maybe I wasn't wrong to put a turbocharger on here. Or sports tires. Alright, let's see if I can just draft off of this, Sylvia. Oh my god, the people in front are so far ahead. What the hell? Excuse me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to catch first place with this amount of power disadvantage. I am not used to driving in this game. I have been playing nothing but Need for Speed Nitro recently. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is not what I was trying to do. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to catch them. I'm still on lap one. Oh, the finish line is here. Okay. But this car is so loud. I am so good at Gran Turismo 7. I do still have one lap after this, and first place is not too far ahead. Excuse me. I definitely got good enough tires, that's for sure. Excuse me. I'm coming through. I need to pass you. This car is 72,000 kilometers. Interesting. I did not even look at that until now. Or 7,000. What the hell? It should be 7,000, not 72,000. Silly game. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to go to the pits. Yeah, Chief, I'm probably not going to make it up to first. In this attempt, at least. I can try to get a better first lap. I am not that far off from first and second. I can't get a good, super good run through here. I mean, I got a not bad one, actually. Damn, I'm actually pretty close. Okay, I'm restarting. I think I can do this. 
That's a big emphasis on think. The whole being very underpowered in the straights thing is very much not helping, though. Okay. That's a cool color. Like, nice jade green. Go! Uh. E. Okay. I am surviving. I am existing. I'm living. I have not hit a wall yet. That's a new record for me, I think. Oh, Lord. Let me through. Yes, go. Okay. Fifth place. We're doing okay. Not great, but okay. Nope, you're not allowed to pass me. I definitely can catch up more through this last section of the track, too. Uh-oh. Uh We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh-wee. Kind of spooky going flat out through there. Uh, okay, we're good. Have I still not hit a wall? That's very possible. Go, just go. Okay. That was a much better first lap than my previous attempt. Like a lot better. Okay. I am only four seconds behind first. I purpled. Although I think I purpled on the last or on the first lap the last time too. Alright. I must go. My people need me. Like now. Okay. I am content with this placing so far. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Okay, come on, draft at least a little bit. I won't be able to draft much, but you know what? Also, there's no way that Jay Wong's car has a VR38. I don't think, at least. I feel like it'd be going a lot faster. Okay. We. Car's still pretty quick, 150 almost, without much drafting. Come on. Yes, that works. It's not the way you're supposed to go around that, but you know what? It works. I don't care. Go, go. Okay. I have received a second place position. I may have bullied my way to, to get here, but you know what? I don't care. Come on, car. Okay. I have taken first place. If I block down the straightaway, I'll have this. That's all I need to do. If they even are able to catch up with me. I, I don't know. I feel like they will. But I guess we'll see in a second. I'm hoping not. Okay. That was not the optimal way to do that. Okay. Time to see if I can keep this position. I'm also still mad that this car says it has 73,000 kilometers on it. It's 7,000. It has five th under 5,000 miles. The trip odometer works right, it looks like. Okay. So we go in. 
Oh, hell yes, that felt so good. Oh god, they are coming. I'm actually doing a lot better than my last lap, even. Ay, 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 ooh, okay. I think we're good. Okay, that just took two attempts. If I don't screw this up, I mean, I, I screwed it up. Um, but not... <laughs> Not a complete screw up. Definitely not taking that chicane quite correctly. Okay. Race one of four is done. That's Gran Turismo. That's GT5 music, isn't it? Yeah. That's GT5 end of race music. All right. Just keeps repeating. Oh, it stopped repeating. Neat. I did not get a clean race, sadly. So I must have hit a wall somewhere. Uh, I will save this replay just in case. I want to use it, which is actually very possible. But we will head on to our next race. Uh, event directory. I'm actually getting more percentage on this, finally. Uh, let's do... You know, let's go to Sakuba. 27,000 credits for winning. Oh, it actually gives a whole list of every car you can use for this. That's funny. I have... I think I actually have every single car. Every single Sylvia in this game. Or Sylvia adjacent car. Very cool. Brooks, hello. Andrew Brooks from Canada. Racing in an S15, the final Sylvia. Hardly get one of these outside of Japan. That is true. Because you can't import them to the US yet. Actually, I guess you'll technically be able to import the earliest S15s as of this year, I think. I think they were 99s. Alright, now that we're in more, more turns, I should be able to yoink first pretty easily. I hope at least. I do like that all the other cars are customized as well. It's very nice. Popular tuner car. It does make sense. I wish I still had a third brake light, but you know what? You can't win everything, I guess. We. Go. All right, fifth place after lap one. I will accept that. Hello, gamers. Oh. Ooh. Okay, Brooks, I see you. Third place. Oh my goodness. That's not like a, a second or third gear burnout right there. Behind me. I don't quite have enough power for that, I don't think. And there's just a no-name driver up in first, that's funny. Or a randomly generated name. We. Oui. Excuse me. Understeery person. I, I saw you do that. You can't avoid it. I see everything. I can't actually see my gauges though. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh. That's what you deserve. Get over in front of me and then slow down instantaneously. It's actually kind of messed up. Wow, I actually got a slower lap on my second lap than my first lap. How did I manage to do that? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm actually almost a second ahead. I just really goofed that section up. 
Not good. Why does it flash all four lights? I would have thought the inside ones would have been fog lights anyways, but I, I don't know. I don't know how the lights on an S14 work. American market or JP market. Or Europe market if it's a 200 SX, like Need for Speed Shift has. The game that I'm not playing because I can't get the DLC for it. <laughs> Easily, at least. I can get the DLC, but it's going to take a bit. Anyways, this isn't Need for Speed. This is Gran Turismo. In case you didn't realize. Okay. Another 27k, another couple miles. Yay. I got one of the menu book things done. Even though I've done two races. I don't know why they don't just add the new ones in, but... Who knows? Did I save that? Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. What do we got next? I am being distracted. I am stopped being distracted. English really sure is a hard language to speak. Uh, so I've done Sakuba. Yeah, I guess we could go to Willow Springs next. We can go in order from left to right. All right, Willow Springs. We have Big Willow. No, oh, Streets of Willow. I can never remember the actual track names, um, but let's get started. I actually don't know how much I'm earning from this. I don't know if it's like another 27,000. Out West. Adriano Caraza from Br Brazil. Custom styling on all these cars is incredible, wouldn't you say? Oh, well, the Toyota 86 and Sylvia 180 SX. I don't think that's those go together. Pretty much invented Japanese toge racing culture. Also 35,000, I just saw that. Very nice. I'm really glad I actually, I, I turned on the, the music, so I have actual, like, race beginning and race ending music. I haven't had that throughout this Let's Play. But then again, I still don't know if this is going to get hit by copyright, but we'll see, I guess, once I upload it. Oh yeah. Hello, S13s. I must go past you. Marker lights already on. Can't see the gauge lights, though. Damn. It do really be like that. Alright, we've got three laps. I guess it's three laps on all of these, because I even had three laps of uh, Tokyo Expressway. Which is probably... Well, I don't know. Deep Forest might be the longest track we race on in this. Go! Hey, I recognize this track from Need for Speed Pro Street. I think that's actually the most recent game besides this game that I've played on or played that has had Willow Springs. Have I played any other games that have had Willow Springs? I actually don't know. That might be a no, to be honest with you. It is funny that Need for Speed Pro Street, released in 2007, has Willow Springs. Forza Motorsport 2, released in 2007, does not have Willow Springs. Kind of interesting that EA got it, but not Microsoft. I don't know if it's like a licensing deal or what. Because Forza didn't get Willow Springs until 4, maybe? Did Forza 4 even have Willow Springs? I don't know. I legitimately can't remember. It's been a long time since I've played any of the Forza Motorsport games at all. Hello, goodbye. This game is so pretty. I love it. Huh. Well, this is an easy win. Funny, I had to fight for Tokyo Expressway win, but here at Willow Springs, I'm just cruising. Sakuba was also easy, but I think this is the quickest I've been in first so far in this. Nothing happened. 
Oh, headlights are on now. Huh, it actually... This one of the pits, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep going, because I can get first again. That's a very short pit lane. <laughs> God damn it. I can't believe I went into the pits by accident. It's kind of hard to avoid them, though. If you go wide at all, you're going to be committed to the pits. Oh well, I'll get back in the first real quick, don't mind me. Just like that. No worries. Unless I go into pits again. Uh, that might not be good if I do that. <laughs> I'll hopefully avoid them this time. Hopefully. Oh, it turns on here. It's down here. I don't know how Willow Springs works. I'm terrible at Willow Springs. My point stands. I am not good at Willow Springs. I never have been. I don't know if I ever will be. All right. Does it always use the Grand Turismo 5 end of race music? I don't know. This is the first I've had the music on in the game besides the menu music. All right, another 35K, another race down. I got my driving marathon completed. And we just have one more race to do for this episode. That as well, because why not? I'll drink some water. Being hydrated is very important. But we have 75% of the Sylvia sisters done. Uh, this is actually the first like racing thing I've done since the uh, the whole event progress page here exists in this game. Except for the, the weekly stuff, but that's not a not really a bunch of a big deal. But final race at Deep Forest. Uh, judging by the picture, we might be driving at night. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. We do find out a lot of things. It's kind of dark. Randall Haywood from United States. Back home, S14 I'll be racing in is known as a 240SX. It sure is. In Japan, it has a woman's name. The Sylvia, they call it. That is formatting. Understandable. All right, 45K for winning. Let's get this done. Time for a nighttime race at a track that probably isn't going to be very well lit. I'm guessing it's only going to get darker. I'm not sure. I don't want my brights on. Oh, goodbye. All right. Oh, we're going reverse. I just realized. I think this is the first time I've ever done this version of Grand Valley reversed. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, this is a sharp turn. Oh, yeah. And this is a really long straightaway, so I might be fighting for first place again. Oh, Jesus. Hello. That was not how you're supposed to do that. It is funny that... In three out of the four of the races, it's been dark enough to have the headlights on in the car in this series. Hello, goodbye. Excuse me, coming through. I did get a purple lap, so we'll see, I guess. I don't know how far behind first I started, but I'm currently eight and a half seconds behind. Not good. I'm nine seconds behind, nine and a half. That is a very poppy S15. I may actually have to hop in the other Sylvia for this last race, because I think it's uh, a lot higher in performance in this car. Instead of buying more stuff. Oh, that's not going to help at all. Yeah, I'm very not catching up, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. I think my other Sylvia is faster. I don't know. I think it was like 550. 
performance points. Uh, change car to... I guess I'll just go down... Oop, too far. Um, you. Alright, where are we at? The adjusted PP is 500. This is almost 600. Okay, this should be fine. I know I gave up kind of quickly, but I don't feel like buying upgrades. And judging by how that went, um, I don't think there'd be a way I could easily do that race with the S14 the way it is. So we'll try to use this car. I haven't used this car in a long time. I think it was used it for a, a championship in the menu book mode, I think. It is definitely faster. Not a whole lot faster, but I think it'll also handle better. I think I did a lot more, uh, like, suspension and tune or, uh, handling upgrades to this car. Suspension. I said that already. What am I saying? I don't know. Yeah, I can actually somewhat keep up in the straightaways now. <laughs> it works. Excuse me. Coming through. And here I was thinking I'd be overpowered in my 520 performance point S14. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it. Not how you do that, by the way. Hello, newer S14. Oh, this car is a little slippery. I don't know if I have sports softs on this. I actually don't know what tires I have on this. Yeah, they are sports softs. I just remembered I can look at the bottom of the screen and it says... Look at all the stickers on that one. I knew you could add stickers on the windows. Or maybe I did. Did I? I don't know. Now I know. We also have a lot more downforce with this thing, with all the extra body upgrades I did. I think I did everything racing on the outside of this car and the inside, considering there's a, uh, a roll cage. Don't leave me behind. Why must you have more power than me? I have 600. Why? Why is this actually difficult? The game's recommending the wrong performance points. What the hell? Okay, uh, excuse me, I'm coming through. Okay, I actually did make that. Hello, Haywood Randall, I think his name was. Was it Randall? I don't remember. It definitely starts with an R, so, you know, R. Haywood, at least. Oh god, we'll be somewhat correct, maybe. Excuse me, coming through. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. And there we go, at the end of lap two. Feeling moderately successful. With my positioning. We're good. It's fine. Why do you all have more power than me? It's actually kind of messed up. Oh my god, your, your lights are so bright compared to mine. Alright, six gear is not very useful, I've learned. This car actually drives really nicely. It gets a little slippery every now and then, but otherwise, it's it's fun. Got a, a, a nice amount of power for the grip that it has. I could also not miss the corner, maybe. <laughs> that might help.
Survive the turn. Oh. Maybe. Okay. S15 pulling through. Not by much, though. Next car is right behind me still, or pretty close behind me. This was a lot harder than I was going to expect. Oh, there's a different end of race song. Huh. Maybe there are different ones. Interesting. Alrighty. That's 30 seconds ahead of last place, 2.8 seconds ahead of second place. And there we go. Sylvia Sisters has been done. I will not be saving this replay for probably obvious reasons. I'm going to use the S14 as a thumbnail, damn it. But let's go back to the cafe. Give me my reward. Congratulations on completing a menu. I've got a present for you. Be sure to come by and pick it up. I'm already here. A six star roulette ticket for parts. Hell yeah. So now we have a gap. I was going to do these in order, but I don't care anymore because I don't feel like waiting until I have a group one car uh, to do any of the other menus, especially because that one was using Sylvia's. Um, but we will go ahead and get our tickets here. I'll figure it out. I wonder, can I receive an engine from this? I did actually receive an engine swap, another engine swap, uh, from another ticket I got not long ago. I got a turbo kit. Four. Bugatti Chiron. I don't even have that car. Wait, don't I have a group one car now? Isn't the Bugatti a group one car? I don't know. I guess I'll have to look. And uh, I could get a, what is that, an NSX? No, that's a Renault. Oh, I almost got the engine swap. I got the least amount of money, but what is it, 100K? Nope, 30K. Understandable. All right, um, I wanna actually look. Yeah, it is group one. Okay, so I could do a group one thing because I have the Bugatti. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got, this one a while ago. I don't actually know when I got the Quattro engine. But then I got this, which uh, I believe is out of the Silhouette Skyline. And then I also got... Actually, no, I got two of them. Is it the... I think that one is out of the, the, uh, the Silhouette Race Car Skyline. And this one out of the R92 CP. Oh, boy. So we'll have to... We will definitely have to do... Um, damn, I don't own any of these cars. Uh, we'll definitely have to do an engine swap at some point. I, I need to. I have to do it. And because I want to, I still really want car. There's nothing else that I really want in here specifically. I'm gonna buy it. 700k. Give me it. And there we go. God, this car is so cool. I just look at it. I don't even know if I'll ever have a chance to really use it. But damn it, I want it. And I'm almost to level 39. I think I hit level 38 in between episodes as well for uh, collection. But there we go. And that will be all I spend money on for now. Uh, I still have 600k, shockingly enough. Um, but that will conclude this episode of GT7. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.